Hello guys, welcome to 3D Home and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to model this particular fence using Archicad, okay? So let's proceed without wasting much of our time. So the first thing, let's um, open the plan view, okay? So this is the plan view. The first tool we'll be using when it comes to modeling this fence, let's go with wall tool, okay? The first thing, click on wall tool, click on setting dialog, okay? And um, the thickness, let's go with 2 to 5, okay? Though it depends on the wall size that you're using, depends on that model that you're doing. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's go with 2 to 5. And then the, the color and the paint is white, white paint. Okay, and these are just the basic settings. So let's proceed without, um, you know, wasting much of your time. So for each partition, all right, let me show you how to do something, okay? When it comes to getting a straight wall, click on Shift, all right? And then click on D, Shift and D, that is D distance, okay? Click on shift and then click on d then type in the distance that's the length of the partition let's go with um let's go with three meters okay let's go with three meters and um for the expansion join the thickness let's go with um, 450 so still do the same thing click on shift hold down your um press on d once and then type in 450 that's your block um length 450 and then okay let's um Let's duplicate this once you copy make sure you tap in your you you tap on control once okay to so activate this copy and then hold down your shift again so you know to be sure that you're getting a straight line okay so this is our expansion join hold down your shift key again click on this other one to you know to click to highlight the two and then let's align this okay let's bring it to this side and be sure that it's straight okay Let's shift it backward first and then and be sure that everything is straight. Okay. So let's check our 3D to know what we've done so far. This is the 3D. Okay, it's a 3D. And then remember this is all we're modeling. But for now, let's just model this particular partition only. And then from after this, then we'll proceed with the remaining. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um for, for the height of this this um wall, this particular one is 1.2 let's go to 1200 okay and for the height of this particular one which is the expansion joint let's go with two meters okay two meters click on the other one pick this line and align it with this other wall okay so we have the same thing now and then for this um slab okay this slab let's go with um we're making use of slab two okay we're making use of slab two so let's go back to our plan view, to our plan view. Select this slab. Let's do some, you know, little settings. Make sure it's on this and um, thickness 100, right? 100 is cool. And for the material, we're still making use of the same paint, white paint, okay? So make sure it's on this um, rectangular, right? Rectangular, click from this beginning and click outside, which is here, okay? Click outside. And then escape, click on this particular one again, click on this line, and um sorry, click outside here. Make sure it's on this offset edge. Okay, offset edge. And let's bring it to the same point. The same point. Okay. So let's check the 3D. Okay. You can see that our slab is down. It's down. So we need to raise it up. We need to bring it to this level. So how to do that is by clicking on this dot, this first dot, okay, drag it up, hold down your shift key, all right, to be sure that your line is straight. And then you need to pay attention to this down line, this particular line, this, you can see the box, the, the, the baseline of the box, okay. Make sure it's aligned with, um, okay, let me go up again. Hold down your shift key. Make sure it's aligned with this other wall. This 1.2 wall. Make sure it's aligned with this base. Okay. Then click it there and drop. And um, for the top one, same thing. Okay. Pick your slab. Remember, we've done the settings already. So this same rectangular. Okay. So click on this edge. Make sure you bring it outside a little. Okay. So that um, you can easily highlight it for adjustment. So click it once. Bring it back to this point. And then click and drag it out let me do that again once it's like this click on this first one 
and make sure it's under this offset okay it's offset edge then bring it to this point and click still click on this point pull it out and then type in 100 okay same thing with this side click on this side type in 100 we only do once here because these particular ones are aligned already okay are aligned already so you click on this one again this one too and make sure the slab is highlighted click on this other line too of the slab bring it out and um, type in 100 same thing with the back one too okay so click on it bring it out type in 100 okay all right so let's check our 3d we need to raise something up which is this particular one okay so same thing click and raise it up hold down your shift key okay once just hold it so be sure that um we're having a straight line that's um a vertical line so take it up let's see what we have so far okay all right so this is what we have and um to be sure that this line is straight this particular slab is straight click on south elevation okay click on south elevation so this is the one we are modeling now let's check out 3d which one is outside okay let's be sure from our plan view okay this one is outside so check your south elevation this is this is what we're working on okay you can see this slab is a bit down so you can do it to raise it up okay you can even raise everything up and then look at the line look at the slap line and look at this particular line now so click on it drag down drag it down hold on your shift key to make sure that to be sure that you're having a straight line and then click it on this head okay so let's check our 3d now uh-huh so i think we are getting it now and then the next thing to do let's um you know duplicate so click on your ground floor all right highlight everything click and highlight everything okay so let's do the copy now click on this first one okay and then tap your control once all right and then bring it to this point and click click again all right tap your control once if you fail to tap your control you see that um you know you discover that that copy does not work perfectly let me do that okay let me show you what i'm trying to avoid so click on this one once okay we're not going to tap control now right once you drop it here you see that this particular one is gone okay this one is gone so for you to actually get everything together all right let's go back you click all right and then tap control once so once you drop it to this other side to this other side which is here this one will remain okay so you can do this as you can continue copying and pasting right depends on how long your fence is okay so let's stop here for this particular um fence and then let's do the railing okay the railing so how to do that okay so click on this on the ground floor which is the top view okay the plan view let's select railing okay under really make sure you click on this um little arrow and then you will be selecting this metal railing okay click on metal railing once okay then we'll click on it and then let's go back to our let's go back to our our plan view okay so pick this middle point draw the rail to this other side okay make sure you're holding down your shift key right click okay i'll click once and then right click and click okay so let's see what we have okay so this is what we have click here pull this one up all right hold down your shift key to be sure that your line is straight okay so this is what we have and then this time around let's click we don't need the second let me show you what i'm talking about we don't need this other one we don't need this particular um rail okay we only need the up one so you click on it and then click on setting dialogues from there now yeah you can click on this particular one now and then click on minus now you can see that this one is gone and um i think we need to bring this one up a little yeah take it up a little 
yeah i think it's okay now okay okay so click on this one again once click on it once click on setting dialog and um this time around let's take this this um this wheel this bottom wheel let's shift it up let's go with 400 i think 400 will be fine mm -hmm. so this is what i'm talking about so you can see we have the same thing now both this fence and this fence so we're having the duplicate of this particular one now all right so this is all about this particular fence and if you find the video helpful please do it to subscribe okay if you find the video helpful do it to subscribe and then if you have any question and anything um, do it to drop the question on the comment um section all right i'll do it to attend to you guys there so thank you once again for your time see you on our next video